matter and antimatter are the same thing but having only opposed movements in the time we can have their simultaneous presence in the same space like it is in the equation a equal to a that shows as the same a the presence in the second member of a a that if it goes in the first member becomes the inverse of a we cannot name matter what we perceive and antimatter what we do not perceive because when we perceive two real fields both in relative opposition in one we perceive the situation a and in the other the situation of one divided by a which passed in the opposed field has assumed the same appearance of a by the inversion of the field and it is evident the inversion of one inversion is not an inversion the simultaneous perception as of the magnetic movement as of the electric opposed one happens in a space in which also a wave running in the time can be perceived in all its number of waves as if they were in the same time and not in the same space the frontal vision of uh, the same wave coming by the depth of the time shows only a presence one only wave but the side vision of the same phenomenon shows all the waves in a simultaneous presence in the space therefore in the space we are perceiving the presence of both the opposite fields perceiving as the opposite vectors electric and magnetic one as the opposite vectors of matter and antimatter, both in evidence. In conclusion, the difference between matter and antimatter does not exist between uh, the real possibility to perceive uh, the one and uh, do not perceive the other, because uh, in the space uh, we are perceiving uh, both of them and we well know that the space and the time are different only because only in the space there is the simultaneous presence of what appears in the increasing time when we perceive both the field and the space we are perceiving matter in one and antimatter in the other we can do only this difference when the cycle of every unit of the physics was fixed in the real cycle of 10 units 10 rise to plus 1 is the increasing of the positive vectors plus one in mass in our real universe having the positive time plus one that we name of the matter mass by strict consequence 10 rise 
to minus 1 is the contrary vector named antimatter mass. But afterwards, presented as matter, as the decimal part of the unit. Therefore, the cyclic unit of the matter, of one matter, is the ten cycle, and the contrary negative unitary cycle of uh, the one antimatter is the inverse cycle made by the quantity 10 raised to minus 1 that is equal to one tenth but in the matter form having uh, inverted its direction relatively that of the time in the exact way in which 10 and 1 tenth are inverted, matter and antimatter are inverted. Such one decimal, one tenth, is always visible one, but it is the antimatter inverted in matter in the same way in which 10 is inverted in one tenth. By consequence, the physicists are doing a big confusion relatively to what is matter and what is antimatter, because the antimatter can be rarely perceived as matter in the space as the decimal part of the unit. The time's perception in the division of uh, 10 uh, raised to 4, that is that of uh, all our reality, divided by the invariant number 9 of the decimal system, gets a one 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 point one 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 in the infinite decimals showing matter in the integer number and antimatter in the decimal part matter and antimatter are both visible ones because this is a perception that happens in the space and that shows the simultaneous presence of all the different times as a lot of 10 unitary cycles of tens put all in sequence in this way we perceive mass of matter in the multiple of one and mass of antimatter in the submultiples. By consequence, all what is in length less than one meter is showing antimatter that we consider matter since we are perceiving the submultiples of the unit of the space referring to the unit of the space that is the matter but we perceiving what is more short of one meter and so the decimeter millimeters and uh, till the atomic dimension we think that is matter no we are perceiving antimatter 